Sawat di ka. Welcome to Hot Thai Kitchen. Today I am going to make the famous Thai sweet chili sauce, which we all know as the stuff in the bottle that you can find at any grocery stores these days. So in Thai, this is called nam jim kai. Nam jim is dipping sauce, and kai is chicken, which is what we mostly use it for: fried chicken, barbecue chicken. But it's also our go-to dipping sauce for deep-fried foods like spring rolls or fried wontons. Now. Why are we going through the trouble of making this ourselves? Because it's so much better than the stuff in the bottle. And once you see how it's made, you're gonna realize it's so easy and it lasts forever in your fridge. So there's no reason why you should be buying this anymore. So why do I have a used bottle? You ask. I don't. This is Adams. All right, let's get started. The main ingredient, of course, is the chili. So I'm going to use two types of chilies here. One that's going to be medium or mild spiciness. That we're going to use this for chili flavor and for color. So in Thailand, we typically use pig chi fa or spur chilies, but I'm using this guy here, this long pepper. You can use anything that's available in your area that fits that description. Okay. And then the second kind of chili is what we're going to use for spiciness, for heat. So I'm just using Thai chilies for this. If your big chilies already got enough spice, you can skip this if you'd like. Very simply, I've just chopped the big chilies up here into small pieces, and we're gonna blitz it up. So in my blender jug here, I've got just a little bit of water, just enough to get stuff going. And my chilies going in. There we go. And then my little spicy chilies go in. Let's just do two for today. We're gonna want some garlic, so I've got lots of garlic here, and we're just gonna blitz that up. Not too fine. We don't want this like complete smoothie here. Just a little bit of chunks is good. Try not to get too close in case of splashes. You do not want that splashing on your face. That's about the right consistency there. And we're just gonna transfer all of this stuff into my pot here. Nice. This is a sweet and sour dipping sauce. So for the sour, we're going to use vinegar. I'm just using white vinegar here. If you want to do rice vinegar, you can. Um, it'll be a little milder, but that'll work as well. And some sugar. So don't be alarmed by the large amount. This is a sweet and sour dipping sauce after all, and you're only going to need a little bit. And we're going to need some salt to season everything. So sweet, salty, sour. So I'm just gonna bring this to a simmer and let it simmer for about five minutes. You want to cook the garlic, cook the chilies, and allow all those flavors to really come together. And you don't want to be smelling this while it is simmering. Okay, this is chilies and vinegar right here. So open some windows. Alrighty, so it's been about five minutes. You're gonna notice that this now looks very clear and very much like the thing we're looking to make. And by the way, you'll notice that I have a little bit of a burn bit stuck to the side of the pot. Try not to let it get there. So if you notice that some bits are starting to brown around the edges, use a brush with a little water and brush it off the sides of the pot. But if it's burnt, just try not to. Wash the burnt bits back into the pot. Just leave it sitting there. So this is quite runny right now, and you could go about this one of two ways. You can reduce it further so that it will thicken just because of the concentration of the sugar. But if you want to keep the flavor milder, you can add a tapioca slurry or cornstarch slurry, some sort of a starch slurry to thicken this up. Add my slurry and give that a stir. And I'm going to bring this to a simmer. Now I'm using tapioca starch because I like the clarity and the consistency that it gives. But you can use cornstarch, absolutely no problem. Make sure you stir constantly. And once it comes back to a simmer, you know the starch is all cooked. You turn it off, and it's done. Look at that! How easy was that? Now this. Is thinner than what it will end up being because this is very hot right now. Once it cools, it'll get a little bit thicker. I need to show you this. This is why we bother making our own rather than just grabbing a bottle from the store. This is the stuff that we made. Okay, look how beautiful, right? And this is the stuff from the bottle. Look at it. You can tell the difference that this is. A lot of water, just thickened water and vinegar, and not as much stuff, right? Just the color and also just the amount of stuff that's in there. So this is going to be a lot more flavorful. And if you look at the ingredients, I mean, we are trying to replicate the stuff that we like, and they're using the same thing: is sugar, water, chilies, garlic, salt. They use cornstarch. We use tapioca. That's why ours is a little bit clearer. But it's the same thing. But we are putting more of it because we don't have to worry about cost as much as they do. A quick taste. Comparison for you. 
I need some spring rolls or something around here. Mm. Oh, just the right amount of spiciness, not too sweet. Perfect garlicky flavor. Now compared to this guy here, there's just no comparison. This one is saltier. Actually, it's saltier, it's sweeter, and it just doesn't have quite the same amount of complexity. So this is why we bother you guys. And it actually makes a great gift. You put it in a nice mason jar, you put a little bow on it, put a little label on it. This will last a really long time. You put this in the fridge and like I've never seen it go bad because it's just so much vinegar and sugar in here, right? So I hope you give this a try. There are so many things you could serve this with. I mean, deep fried anything, especially fried chicken. So the recipe, as always, will be on hattaikitchen.com. When you make it, send me a photo on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram. Instagram. And if you haven't subscribed to the show, make sure that you do so you don't miss an episode. And when you do, click that little bell icon so you get a notification every time I post a new video. Oh, and by the way, if you want some ideas of what to make to go with this dip, I will list all those recipes in the description box below. And I will see you next time for your next delicious Thai meal.